welcome back to Gapey's Greenhouse. The last three days it's gotten down to 32 degrees outside and not much colder inside, but all the peppers are doing really good thanks to this little heater here. So this is a little space heater that I bought for the greenhouse a couple years ago, but I haven't really been using it much. Um, it, it's not very cost efficient, so um, I only use it on rare rare cases like this um, because we had the really cold temperatures at night the last three days um, but it's supposed to warm back up and I wasn't ready for the peppers to be done so if I didn't have that in here I'm not sure I'd have any peppers um, left in here so let's show you what I've got um, back here is the let's see oh this is the habanada so this is one of the ones that took forever. I think it was either the last or second to last one to start ripening. Um, but And I did pick uh, one or two. I think, actually I think I picked three pods off of this so far. Um, but I don't see any ripe at the moment. But they start out this kind of a really light um, green color and then it eventually will turn um, an orange. But I've already picked them. So none to show you right now. But the pods have been various shapes. Um, I think most of them are more kind of long, elongated like this, but I have seen a few different um, shapes in here. Um, but I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not sure um, how it tastes, but it's supposed to be a sweet pepper, so we'll see. And then we've got the Trinidad perfume here, and we've got just one pod here that's starting to ripen up. Um, it hasn't been super productive. It hasn't really gotten that tall. But it does have a fair amount of green pods still on it. Um, so we should get a few here pretty soon. And it ha it's also had a few different shaped pods. But I think this one is more like what it's supposed to look like. Um, but we've had some that were kind of long and thin, kind of like that one. Um, but that one is a pretty tasty, a pretty tasty one. And then we've got the lemon drop, or ahi lemon. And it's been really productive. We've had some kind of weird can see this one here. Um, it's just got one stem, but it's got like a, two peppers growing out of the one stem. So I haven't actually seen that before, so that's kind of weird. Uh, but we've got tons of green peppers. We've got a few, a few ripe ones hiding in here as well. Um, but this one is a really tasty. It's a little bit hotter than most of the other peppers I have on this side of the greenhouse. Um, but it's a good, good pepper for sauces and powders as well. And then behind that, we've got the Ahi Fantasy. And we've got a few right pods. I think that's what, double check, make sure that's the right, the right pod because we've got this other one here that's kind of sprawling out. But yeah, I think this is, it is for this Ahi Fantasy. But we've got a few pods in here. Some of them have been kind of small on the small side. Um, we've got, I think that's another one back here. Uh, but I've harvested a few of those and we've got lots of Lots of green ones on here as well. And then some these two are pretty decent size, but most of them have been pretty small. Um, and then on right next to that is the Ahi Tangerine. And this is a Susan Garza pepper cross. I'm not sure what it's crossed with, but it's it's a really neat pepper. It's got these kind of yellowish orange. I think some of our phenos have it's more of an orange, a darker orange color. But lately some of the people that have, are growing this out are getting these kind of a yellowish, um, yellowish color on them. But they're super, the walls are super, super thick. Um, so they take forever to ripen. So I don't like that it takes so long, but I do, I do like the thick walls. They're great for snacking on. Um, and it's not too spicy. So it's a really, really tasty pepper. So I'm really enjoying it. I just wish it wouldn't take so long to ripen. But luckily it's in the greenhouse, so we have a little bit of time to get some of these pods ripened up before the end of the season. And then in front of that we have the Ahi Mango Long, which is a really dark orange. I really like this color. Um, and it's it's another tasty pepper, nice and sweet with a little bit of heat. And this is the, I think, well, maybe the second tallest pepper in the greenhouse. So it's loaded down with pods. And most of them are pretty, pretty nice pods, um, good size. Some of them have this little curve on the bottom. And then this one here is a little bit, a little bit kind of a wrinkly pepper. Um, but most of them are pretty good, pretty nice shapes. Um, but we've got tons of pods left to ripen on that plant. 
And then next to that is the across that I discovered, I think last year. Um, it's an Ahi Hobito, and we think it's a white peach cross, um, but well, we got some bug damage on that one. Um, but it's a really good pepper, nice and sweet with a little bit of heat as well, and very productive. But this year isn't quite as productive as last year, but there's still quite a few pods. They're a little bit later to ripen also this year. Uh, so I might try growing that again next year. We'll see. And then the favorite pepper of the season is this Sugar Rush Striped. So this was a Fino of the Sugar Rush Red. Um, let me pick one so you can get a little bit closer look at how it looks. Um, but it's got, it's like a, a light orange color and then it's got some red, kind of red striping on it. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. So yeah, it's been a really popular um, pepper from when I, when I, every time I post a picture of it on social media, I get tons of responses saying, oh, where can I get seeds? And unfortunately, you can't buy these anywhere. Um, not even the, the developer of the Sugar Rush has seeds for this, but I'm planning on sending him some soon, so he will have some um, in his collection. And maybe they'll be available for sale somewhere um, at some point, but it's just been a really neat pod to grow. And it's really tasty, as are all the Sugar Rush um, varieties. So really fun. I, I highly recommend it if you can get some seeds from that. They are very good. All right, that's it for those peppers on that side of the greenhouse. Let's take a look on this side. So this here is Kangstar's Linzo pepper. Um, and it's, I think it's a fairly unstable cross because this is not what it's supposed to look like. The peppers have been really, really small compared to the ones I've seen him grow. Um, I think this one here might be the, the, long, the biggest one. But you can see some ripe ones back here, how tiny they are. But the good thing is these are really, really tasty peppers. I do like how they taste. They actually, it's kind of weird. It kind of tastes a little bit nutty to me, um, but it's very sweet, not really any, not really much heat at all. Um, here's some more down here, but they're just kind of really funky peppers, but really very good tasting. So I'm hoping to grow that again next year, but I want to get some different seeds so I can try what it's supposed to be like and see what the difference is. Then behind that is another Kangstar pepper. This one is the Kangstar white Thai. And so we get some white peppers and then they turn a little bit orange, kind of a blush, and then eventually they'll turn red. But some of them have this really neat purple hue to them, some more than others. Here is one that has a lot of purple on it. Um, and some of them don't get purple at all. So it's really a nice variety of colors um, that remind me kind of of Christmas. So it's it's a fun pepper to grow and a really very productive one. I had a friend come over. Um, we had a family picnic yes, or this weekend and she took she got a whole bunch of pods off of here and there's still a lot left. So a very nice productive and tasty pepper too. And then we've got here one of my all-time favorites is the Korean gochu. Now this is the I think third tallest pepper in the greenhouse. Um, and this one really does need to be caged. I didn't cage it last year and um, I wished I had, uh, but it, it gets some pretty tall branches and they get loaded down with peppers. So it's very productive. I've already picked a ton of these and made some powders out of it. Um, I'm planning on making another Korean gochu hot sauce like I did last year, um, but it's been, it's just really a great pepper. I highly recommend this one. And then behind that we have another white tie, but or actually it's a red tie. Um, it's called a cluster tie, and this one is by Vince Chan. He did recently name it. I'll have to look up the name that he gave it. I think it's something like Hot Fingers or or something like that. Um, but it's a really fun pepper to grow. It gets lots of pods in these clusters, all up the middle and also at the tops of the plants. And you can see there's a lot of a lot of flowers here. Um, I wish the season was a little bit longer, but um, we'll just take what we can get. But lots of pods still on there, and we still have a little bit of time to get those ripened up. 
All right, and then here, this was where the Alma paprika was, but I pulled that one up because it's it was done producing, and I planted, I think that might be kale that I put there um, for the winter. And then behind that, we still have the Luchhauer paprika, which has been a really productive, um, nice, sweet paprika. It has a little bit of heat, but not as much as the Alma. But this one is a really great pepper for drying. So I made some smoked paprika out of both of the paprika varieties. And I posted that on YouTube. If you didn't see it, um, check it out. But we've got a few peppers in here that are ripe and lots of lots of unripe ones. So this one here is actually the tallest pepper in the greenhouse. Um, and I've been trimming a lot of these back as well. But there's there's a lot left to ripen up. So hopefully that gets done soon. And then here we have all the the capsicum chinense varieties here. The first one we have is the Kang Star Lemon Starburst. And I don't think we have any... Oh, there's one, one ripe pod there. It's a little one. Um, this one wasn't as productive this year as it usually is. Or, well, this is, I think, my third year growing it. Um, but um, it's, it's been doing all right. It's got some nice shaped pods, but not as productive as years past. But I'll probably grow it again because it's such a great variety. And then behind that we have, this is the Bahamian Beast. And this one's been, I've had some different shaped pods on here. This is a nice nice grouping of pods here and they're just starting to turn they kind of looks like they turn a little bit kind of a I don't know what you call that um, like a olive maybe color and then it starts turning orange and then eventually it'll turn red but here's some back here that are red these are some tiny tiny peppers um, but I like these bigger ones here so I might save some seeds off of these guys but we've got a lot more Lots of green pods back here, and some nice sized ones too. But, yep, I'm glad I got the heater in here, otherwise these guys would be goners. But yeah, look at all those peppers. Lots of them yet to, to ripen up there. And then we have, here is the Elysium Oxide Scotch Bonnet. This is another one that is just loaded down loaded down with peppers on all the branches. Look at that. And these are some really nice, really nice pods too. So this one here is just starting to turn. I don't think I have any, any ripe ones on here because I've been, I just made a, a red hot sauce and picked all my red, red peppers the other day. Um, but, and this is a pheno of the Elysium Scotch Bonnet that actually turns red. I think there's some varieties that, or some phenos that don't turn red. But I hear the ones that turn red are a tastier one, so I guess I'm glad um, about that. But look at that. That's a nice, nice looking pod there. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely save some seeds off of this guy. A nice pepper. And then behind that, which I forgot to mention or forgot to show this one in one of my other pepper videos, um, this is the Freeport Scotch Bonnet. And it gets, actually this one... Looks like it kind of turns yellow before it turns this kind of a orange, almost kind of a peachy orange color, which is, I don't think I've ever seen a pepper quite that color before. Um, we've got some more ripe ones down there. I've been using this in some hot sauces. So I will be, oh, here's a, here's a ripe, oh, this is the, the Bohemian Beast, a ripe one there. But yeah, I really like the coloring on the Freeport Scotch Bonnet. That's kind of one of the reasons that drew me to growing this one is the, the neat color. And then this is my least productive or least successful plant here. This is the Gator Jigsaw. Um, most of the pods that have been that have been coming out on this one are they start out really soft, which which isn't right, and they're just staying pretty small. Some of them have just fallen off. It was, you know, after it grows a little bit. Um, I think this one might be the biggest pod here, and this one actually feels pretty firm, so maybe that one will reach maturity. But um, yeah, these other ones they just don't feel right, and I don't know that they're gonna. And it just hasn't been setting out very many pods, so. 
I'm not too happy with this one. Probably just some bad seed or a bad pheno. Um, but I might try growing that again at some point, but not with these seeds. I'm not gonna plant I'm not gonna save any seeds from that one. And then behind that we have the red fatali. Um, fatali also comes in yellow, but I grew the red variety, and this one has been super, super productive as well. Um, probably it might be my most productive or second I didn't I haven't been counting the pods that I harvest but it, I mean it, it I've picked a lot of these um, and again this is a red variety so I, I don't have any ripe right now because I picked them all recently um, but we have lots of pods here that are getting ready to ripen up and some are just starting to ripen there and then next to that okay this one might be the most productive I mean these pods this is the um, Nebri 7. It's a really, really, really impressive um, plant that I have here. Um, just tons, all of these yellow, yellow orange pods in here. These are all, all the, the Nebri 7 and it's just kind of sprawling out all over the place. But yeah, and there's still a lot of tons of green pods on there too. Just, just really insane. And I've harvested a lot of these already and it's leaning over into all these other plants. So, but yeah, it's a crazy pepper. And then down here we have the Batman's Florida um, Pineapple Habanero. And it's been a pretty productive plant too. I've, there's been some various sized pods though. I've had some pretty small ones and then also a few good sized ones. But this one, Kingstar would probably like this variety because there's like no seeds in most of the pods. And he likes he loves peppers that don't have seeds or little seeds. Um, so I've only managed to save like six maybe seeds off of this thing because there's just, most of them just don't have any seeds at all. But I'm hoping some of these larger pods might have a few that I can save seeds from. But I, I really like the color. I mean, the color is just a really bright, bright yellow, um, really neat. But uh, what else do we have? The We've got a ghost pepper back here. Um, let's see if we can get the camera back in here. But we've got a few ripe pods. I did make um, a green ghost sauce out of some unripe ghost peppers. Um, it's still fermenting, so I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we'll find out. But I used quite a few of those, so hopefully it's not gonna be too hot. Um, but we've got quite a few pods left back there. But it's kinda hard to see them with all these other peppers kinda overshadowing it. And then lastly, in the greenhouse, we have the Black Panther. So this is the last, very last one that I, that I had um, set pods, but it's got quite a few. I mean, check out, check out that color. I mean, it's, it's really, really black. I mean, you would, you would think that it was, it was burnt. Cause I've, I've never seen a, a pepper quite that, that black. Now the ones that are kind of shadowed by the leaves aren't as black. So you can see there's a lot of green on some of these, but the ones that are, have more sun um, are all pretty black. And eventually, you can see a couple down there are starting to turn, but they'll start turning red or kind of an orange and eventually red. And I think they they don't turn all red. I think they, they leave some of their black. So it looks like the, the pepper is kind of charred. Um, but it's a really neat. I've picked, I think, two or three of these already. Um, but it's been a pretty fun plant. I'm glad I finally decided to set pods. Um, but anyway, that's all that's in the greenhouse. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.